for me, this was just a profound moment to see that the model could write code, but also run builds, stream the errors back, and iterate on the code. So imagine you're the CFO of a startup. I have some data that I'd like to visualize about the company, and I'm going to ask the model to make me a dashboard. So um, you'll see here that I'm being specific about the audience. So the target audience is the CFO that you know, create a finance dashboard for my startup. Um, and I've asked it to be beautiful, tastefully designed with some interactivity um, and to have a clear hierarchy for easy focus on what matters. I've also specified what frameworks it should use. And you can see that it's actually started. It's following my instructions and using um, create next app to make a Next.js project. So totally from scratch. How long do you think this kind of task would take you to take? Yeah, e easily at least a couple of days. Uh, just to understand the latest frameworks and piece everything together would yeah, easily take me a few days. We'll see how long it takes with the model. Um, and it, it's really cool to see that the model is thought for a bit, and it's explaining how it's going to structure the project. So it's talking about how it's going to scaffold a new Next.js app. It's going to use Tailwind CSS. Uh, it's running um, a couple of commands to install dependencies, um, which is cool. Now it's, um, it's proceeding to um, implement the rest of the project. So while this runs, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we trained GPT-5 to be a great front-end coding model. We tried to follow the principle of giving it good aesthetics by default but also making it steerable. So if I give the model a concise prompt, it should be able to infer my intent and make something that looks great by default. On the other hand, if I'm specific about a layout or frameworks that I want the model to use, it should follow my instructions precisely. And this makes it the best of both worlds for developers. We also, we also train GPT-5 to be much more agentic than previous models. So if you give it a task like this, it will run long chains of reasoning and tool calls and just go to work to build code that is both ambitious and coherent. I like how you said ambitious, because it means it goes above and beyond without going off track or off what you specified. What we want is the model should adhere to my prompt, but also like be, be ambitious and um, go above and beyond when it thinks it can. I love that it doesn't just write the code. It also yeah. really thinks about proper abstractions and documentation and really the whole life cycle of what it is to write software. It's not just writing the code like in Sweebench, but it's also communicating about the code and explaining what it's doing. While this runs, um, GPT-5 uh, understands details much better than previous models. So when we trained the model, we taught it to understand details like typography, color, and spacing in a way that just eclipses any previous model we've shipped. 